Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you are going to learn about two very important Rails methods, and these methods are blank and present. You will learn exactly what they do, how they work, and how to use them correctly. So I am here in this Rails console inside one of my example projects that I have and use for these examples. And um, before we get started with these two methods, um, you might want to check out my site rubyguides.com and subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't yet and also get a copy of my Ruby book that is going to help you improve your Ruby skills and become a professional Ruby developer. So that's on rubyguides.com. So now back to the topic, we're going to be talking about two Rails methods. So these are Rails methods, not Ruby methods. Okay, so if you try this outside of Rails, these two methods won't be available. So that's why you need to understand that. So what are the methods? Well, it's blank, question mark, so blank, question mark, and present, question mark. So the first thing you, we need to know about these two methods uh, is that this work in any Ruby objects. So even nil, even the nil object, which we use to represent empty or not found, has these methods defined. And another thing that you need to know about these two methods is that they are the opposites of each other. So blank means not present, And present means not blank, okay? So that's going to help you a lot understand how these, how these two methods are related to each other because once you understand one, you will understand the other perfectly. So let's get to some code example. What is blank exactly? Let's start with that. Well, like I said, we can call blank on any Ruby object. Ruby objects like nil. If we do nil blank, we get true. Okay. What happens if, for example, I have a, an empty string and I do blank, I also get true. What happens if I have false and I try blank? I also get true. So all of this, nil, empty string, and false, return true. They are, in other words, they are blank. So when we do a method that ends in a question mark, we are asking a yes or no question. You got that? When we have a question mark at the end of a Ruby method, what that means, not always, is not enforced by the language or anything, it's a convention between us as Ruby developers that we say this. When a method ends in a question mark, we're asking a question about this object. And the question in this case is, is this object blank? Yes or no? That's the only possible um, answers. And yes, in case of Ruby and a programming language means true or no, false, right? So I hope that's clear enough. No. What does it mean for an object to be blank? That's the next logical question. Well, an object is blank when it's nil, false, let me type that correctly, false, empty string, or empty, there's also a method called empty question mark, and if the method uh, sorry, if the string has only spaces like that. So a string with empty 
spaces and nothing else. So I think that's all of the conditions that make, that define what it means for an object to be blank. Okay? So if we try to call blank question mark, so if we ask another object that is none of these things, if it's blank, then we will get false. Okay, so for example, the number one is not blank. So we got false means no, it's not blank. If we have a string with some characters inside it, like apple or orange or whatever fruit is your favorite, it's also not blank. Why? Because according to the definition, the rules of whether an object is blank or not, it's not because there is something inside, right? No, the present method, the present method. Like I said, these methods are opposite from each other. So the present method is used the opposite. So that means that if I say nil present, we're going to get the opposite of nil blank. So instead of true, we get false, as you can see right here, right? The same thing goes for the empty string, empty string or the string with um, empty spaces like this, right? So since they are defined in terms of each other, you can very easily understand present by understanding blank. So these are the two methods. Of course, there are other methods, other methods like empty, but empty, one thing you need to understand about empty is, well, two things actually. Let, let's take a look at this empty method. So this empty, actually three things. You need to understand three things about empty. Empty, is a base Ruby method. So it's not a Rails method, okay? It's a core Ruby method. It's part of the Ruby programming language. It's not part of the Rails framework, which are separate things. So empty you can use on all of your Ruby programs, but you only use it on strings or hashes, right? The second thing you need to know about empty method is that if you have a string like this with empty spaces, that's not considered empty. Okay, but if I have this and I do blank, then that's considered blank. So it's different rules, okay? What it means for a string to be empty is completely empty, like this, nothing. But what it means for a string to be blank, it means that there can be empty spaces. Why does this exist, this difference? Why is this different? Well, because when you have in a form, like a login form or a registration form in a website, I'm talking about a website, you have a form where you, the user or you enter some data to log in, create a user, uh, create an account, anything like that, and you might put empty spaces inside one of these fields. So imagine I don't have, imagine this is the, the field, right? The input field. If we put the spaces like that, then we don't want to take this as a valid input. We don't want an empty name with only spaces. We don't want a blank name. So that's the long-winded explanation to why blank is different than empty because blank, we want to make sure that there are, we have actual data, we have actual characters, not just white space, okay? And that's empty, so empty is, a core Ruby method, empty can be used on hashes and ha uh, uh, strings, and empty is means completely empty. Oh, and one last thing that's also important is that if you call empty on something that's not 
a string or hash like nil, then you get an error. Why this error? You probably have seen a few times. Why is that? Because nil is a class and the nil class doesn't define the empty method, okay? But Rails defines blank on nil. So what that means is that we can do blank question mark on nil and we don't get the error, but we get some useful output. So that's the last difference that I wanted to show you. So to recap, what you learned in this video is about the blank question mark method and the presence, present question mark method. They are opposite of each other. And blank has specific definition, which is uh, false, which is false, nil, empty, or a string with white space. That's the definition for blank. Um, present, it's just the opposite of blank. Hope you learn a, a lot of new things or at least something new and interesting. Please click the like. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video uh, so more people can find this video and also enjoy and learn from it. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now. Visit my website rubyguides.com and get a copy of my book, Ruby Deep Dive. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.